In this learning teaching episode, we're going to be looking at the seasons of the year. Now, the seasons of the year work in with the 12 months of the year. Now, in our last lesson, we looked at that there were 12 months in the year, and we ordered those 12 months. We said that the first month of the year was January, and the last month of the year was December. And there were 10 other months that went between January and December, and we ordered them all together. Now, in this lesson, we're going to look at the seasons now, who can tell me one of the seasons that are in the year? That's right, we have summer, winter, autumn, and spring. So we have four seasons that make up the year. Now, what do you think might happen in summer? What's the weather like in summer? Yeah, it's pretty hot, isn't it? And when we go into winter, it's cold. That's when we wear our jumpers, we might wear our tracksuit pants to school. And that's when we tend not to really go to the beach because it's a bit too cold to go in there. Now let's watch this video here and we can see what months go into each of the seasons. Can you, Can you help, help me? me? Someone, Someone cut, cut up my, my calendar, calendar and I need, need to put, put it back together. together. I, have I have all the names, names of the months, but they're they all muddled up. up. Here, Here, let me help. Let's, Let's put, put these, these in order. order. January, January, February, February March, March, April, April May, May, June, June July, July, August, August September, September, October, October November, November, and December. There, there we go. Well, that's, well, that's pretty, pretty good, good remembering. remembering. Do you, Do you think, think you could help me place, place the months into their correct, correct seasons, seasons too? Summer. In, in summer, summer, it's really, really hot. hot. The months, months of summer, summer are December, December January, January and February. Autumn. autumn. What's, What's the weather, the weather like, like in autumn? autumn? In, in autumn, autumn, it starts to cool down. down. The leaves on the trees change colour, then fall to the ground. The months of autumn are March, April, and May. Winter, then it turns cold and winter arrives. The winter months are June, July, and August. Spring, after winter, it begins to warm up again. The flowers bloom and it is spring. The spring months are September, October, and November. Each month belongs to a season. There are 12 months in the year and four seasons. Well done. Now, on the screen here, we have all of the four seasons that make up our year. So we have summer, then we have autumn, then next comes winter, and then finally we have spring. So the three months that make up summer are December, January and February. So when you have your big summer holidays at the end of the year, those holidays are in the summer period. And the season of that is summer. And we have December, January and February. So we know that in December, that's when we have our Christmas. And because we live in the Sunshine Coast, we tend to go to the beach during December and January and February when we're on school holidays because, as we know, summer is nice and hot. Next, we have autumn. Now, we are in autumn now. That is the month, the season that we are now in because we know that those months are March, April and May. Now, in autumn, as we saw in the video, it starts to cool down and the trees tend to lose their leaves. When you go back out to the playground for lunch and um, morning tea time, see if you can see any of the trees losing their leaves. Because you will know then 
that the season that we're in is autumn because we can look outside and see that yes it is cooling down and also the trees are losing their leaves and preparing themselves for winter. So our next month, our next season is winter. Now winter has June, July and August. Now in winter, we tend to wear tracksuit pants and jumpers because we know that it's starting to get cold. So our school uniform might change. Instead of wearing our, our T-shirt, we might wear a jumper over top of that. And we also might, instead of not having the air conditioning on, we might have it on, we might actually have the heating on just to warm the place up because it is starting to get cold. So in our winter months, we have our June, July and August. August. Now our final season is spring and spring has the months of September, October and November. So in spring our trees and our flowers are actually starting to grow again because in autumn they lose their leaves. In winter it's too cold for them to really start growing. So in spring with the nice warm weather and we might have a little bit more rain, everything begins to grow again and it's a really nice and colourful place. You will notice when it comes to spring that the flowers in the garden start to have nice big flowers and also the grass on the ground really starts to grow again as well. So now I would like you to point to the, the season of the year that your birthday is in. So my birthday is in November. So my, it's the season that my birthday is in is spring. Now if your birthday was in January or in December or in February, your, the season of your birthday would be summer. And if your birthday was in March, April or May, the season of your birthday would be autumn. And finally, if your birthday was in June, July or August, it would be in winter. Now it's your turn. I am going to give a season and I would like you to point to the months that make up that season. Okay, I'm going to start nice and slow and then I'm going to quicken it up again so I have a bit of a game that we can play. Okay, so I'm thinking of the months of March, April and May. What season of the year will I be in? Correct. Autumn is the correct answer. I'm thinking of the months of June, July and August. Point to the season that I will be in. Winter. Excellent. Tick there for winter. Okay, nice and quick. I'm thinking of December, January, February. What month am I going to be in? Summer. Excellent. Now I'm thinking of September, October and November. What season of the year will I be in? Spring. Excellent. Spot on. Now it's your turn. I would like you to go into the practiced part of the video, which you'll find underneath this video, and complete the following activity. Now you are going to be going into Quick Sheets, and you are going to complete the Seasons of the Year worksheet. Remember, you can always come back to this video to use this as a guide to help you understand what months goes in which season.